saw an open lane, just kind of rose up, and he kind of jumped with me. So it was a, it was a big moment, and that gave us the momentum for the rest of the game, I think. That dunk by Isaac McNeely put the exclamation point on Poka's win against Logan last Friday night. An undefeated team they beat by 22 points. To give you an idea of how good this team is, the Dots are 15-1 this season, have won 14 straight games, and 13 of their wins are by 10 or more points. Case in point, is there anyone that can stop Poka? We're feeling pretty good uh, so far, yeah, but we still have unfinished business. That unfinished business is getting back to the state championship game, a game the Dots lost last year. Every high school team dreams of winning a state title, but the Dots are obsessed with it. The day after we lost, we were all back in the gym uh, working, so we've been working for a while and we're really motivated to get that ring. And, and I think we've got a good team to do it, and I really like our chances. Coach Alan Osborne has won a couple of rings before and is hoping to add another one to his resume. He's been there before, and he sees the hunger in this team. We're pretty motivated. I think they're on a mission, and uh, they want to get another chance at it. But it's got a long way to go. It's not going to be easy. It's, you know, we got to play one day at a time and one game at a time and just try to get better and, and see what happens. All eyes are on McNeely as the top-rated high school player in the Mountain State. Before he heads to Virginia, he wants to cap off his senior year in the biggest way possible. Everybody says you got to go out with a bang and enjoy it while it's here. So I'm, I'm taking every practice like it's my last. We got chip on our shoulder, and we're here to prove that you know we are the best team in the state. In Polka, Zach Gilliland, 13 Sports Zone.